Hi, today we're going to have a look at how to take a single player game and make it multiplayer with coherence. Coherence comes with a lot of features that help you make all kinds of multiplayer games. What we'll focus on today is how easy it is to get started. To test this, we wanted to see how quickly we could add multiplayer to a popular package in the Unity Asset Store. You'll find the link in the description below. So let's get this started. Let me turn on the timer. First, let's go to Docs Coherence.io and click on the installation page. We scroll down to the package manager section and I'll copy the URL to the package repo. In Unity, let's open project settings and click on package manager to add our scope registry. We'll enable pre-release packages and then enter the name, URL and scope. We'll click Save and close the settings. And now let's open the package manager itself and select My Registries. We can see that the coherence package is already available, so let's go ahead and install it. Now that coherence is installed, we can click Welcome in the coherence menu and open the coherence hub. Let's connect the project with our free online username by clicking on Login Sign Up and Logging In in the browser. Going back to the Unity Editor, we can now select our default organization and project. Now let's set up our scene by clicking on the Scene tab and adding a monobridge, a live query, and a sample connect dialog. Now we can look at our Fox game object. We can see that it has a lot of components for handling animation states and inputs. Let's add a coherent sync component to it. We'll need to convert it into a prefab, so let's click on Convert to Prefab in Assets and add it to the Prefab Mapper. We have to define what fields to sync over the network, so let's click Configure and select Position, Rotation, Local Scale and all parameters in the animator. There is a lot more we could be synchronizing and fine-tuning, but let's stick to the defaults for now. Right now we don't need to expose any methods as RPCs, but we do need to define what happens to components on remote foxes. We want the rigid body to be kinematic and disable the input and other components that control the fox's logic. When Coherence spawns this prefab over the network, it will make sure these settings are applied. Now let's close the configuration window and go back to the Coherence hub. Let's go to Schemas and click on Bake Now. This will generate the client-side network code for all our Coherence prefabs. If we want to use the Coherence Cloud, we have to make sure that our configuration is uploaded. So let's click on Upload to Coherence Cloud. Now we can hit Play and uh, we'll see that the region selector gets populated with the E region already. So we can go ahead and create a room. We're connected to the cloud, but there's nobody else in our session. So what do we do? Let's make a build. We'll create and join a new room called Demo. And run the editor scene again. We can now see that the demo room is already here, so let's join it. And voila, two foxes synchronizing online. We can now send this build to a friend and play the game together. Let's check the timer. 4 minutes and 45 seconds to set up basic networking. Not bad. Coherence also allows you to share builds online. Let's first go to our project dashboard. Go to Share Build and uh, make sure we have build sharing enabled. To make things extra interesting, let's switch to WebGL and make a new build.
Let's give our build a name. Let's call it WebGL. And when the build is ready, we can navigate to the Share Build section of Coherence Hub. Let's select WebGL and the corresponding build folder. Now we can click on Begin Upload. All right, the game build is uploaded. If we go back to the dashboard, we can see the public URL of the project. Let's open it in a new tab. There, the game's running in the browser. Let's create a new room and call it uh, Demo Web and join it. In the editor, we can uh, now join the same room. So let's hit play. See the room listing. As you can see, the demo room is there and we join it. And now we can see the fox syncing between the web browser using WebRTC and the Unity Editor using UDP. Thanks for watching this video on how to make a simple multiplayer game with coherence. This is of course just the start and there's much more to explore, like network commands, server-side simulation, authority transfer and other advanced features. Stay tuned for more videos, join our Discord and head over to coherence.io and sign up for your free account. Thank <laughs> you.